with me, Mario! Hi, I'm Mike, Pokétips Mike, and you might have thought that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was the most ambitious crossover of all time. But today, my friends, I'm gonna show you something much crazier. We're playing Pokemon right now, with a dual disc from Yu-Gi-Oh! like we're ready to go to Battle City, and we have a freshly hatched Score Bunny that I'm about to evolve into Mario. Let's make this happen, I'm gonna use a large EXP candy on that Score Bunny, takes it all the way from 1 to 23, so it should be able to evolve with no trouble at all. What? Score Bunny is evolving! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that looks even better than I thought it would! Look at that mustache! Look at that thing moving, it's going out forward! That's the freakiest mustache I've ever seen! You guys thought Cappy was crazy? That'll be the next main feature in a new Mario game, it'll use this mustache! Congratulations, your score buddy evolved into a Mario! Let's just go to this guy and change that name real quick. There we go, much better. And you know what, I want to see, I'm not sure if the modder actually did this, I want to see if there's a shiny Mario in this game. I have a shiny score money over here, let's evolve that one too, and see if we can get maybe, I don't know, a blue Mario, or even Luigi. <laughs> Yo, let's go! Look at that, we had the fire Mario, I didn't even know that was in there, that's awesome! That's so cool, sorry for screaming, that actually got me really excited. I thought it was just going to evolve into Raboots, there we go, so we have regular Mario, and we have the fire flower Mario. Okay, let's take these guys in the Pokemon camp and see what they look like in there. Yes, yes, this is great, I just have two Marios hanging out in the camp, come here Mario, woohoo, wee come here, come here. Yeah, you like this thing. Let me wiggle it in your face. There we go. Let's, uh, let's wiggle this in front of Mario. Oh, ouch, Mario. Ow, that kind of hurts. You know, there used to be this game on the Wii that I used to play all the time, Mario Strikers Charge, and they never made a remake of it. It was basically like a Mario soccer game or a Mario football, and it was a pretty cool game, so I guess this is the closest we get to it. Put them in Pokemon Camp, give them a little ball, and I guess we'll do that with them. Let's chat, Mario. What's on your mind? Mario is relaxed in this familiar place. Does Mario go camping in a game? I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and try cooking something for Mario. Now, I'm not the best chef at all, but I do make some pretty good scrambled eggs and some pretty good chicken. Now, this is a curry cooking mini game, so I'm not sure how well that's going to translate over, but we'll try. We'll try. Let's go. Four cherry berries. Let's do two chesto berries. Put them to sleep. Uh, and we'll fill up the rest. We'll put some orange berries in there for that health. Ooh, we must be doing something right. Mario's running over. Now let's stir, stir, stir. Uh, let's put our heart into it. And boom, there we go. Heart into it. And we're done. Let's see if Mario likes this. Spicy curry. Two nice spicy curry dishes. Okay. What do you think, Mario? How does it taste? Okay, I think he likes it. His mustache is wiggling in approval. Okay, now let's try out our Marios in battle. I'm gonna use the regular one first, but we're definitely gonna bring shiny Mario, Fire Flower Mario into battle. And I am just not gonna get over how weird that wiggling mustache looks. That's fantastic. Okay, let's jump into battle against this Inky Boy. Guess we're doing a little Splatoon <laughs> crossover too. And go on out, Mario. It's a me! Oh, wow. I, had, uh, I was not expecting these things to be level 40 here. Alright, never mind, Mario. Let's run away. Alright, this stuffle should be a lot better. I think Mario can handle this thing. Come on out, Mario. Hello! <laughs> that looks so funny. That looks so funny. Before this mod came out, I never knew how badly I wanted Mario in a Pokemon game, and now I'm just very happy that we can do this. Look at that zoom in. Oh, that mustache. It looks a little funny on him, I'm not gonna lie. But let's go for an attack. Let's go for double kick. I think that should look pretty natural coming from Mario. Then we'll get into the weirder moves soon. Boing. So Mario goes for double kick. A nice little hop in there, Mario. Boing. Good to see jumping on all those Goombas finally pays off. Let's see what Mario looks like taking a hint. Oh, please. Please tell me you could take a brutal swing. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad, Mario. Now let's go for a fire move. I want to see Mario use Ember. Mario used Ember. That looks perfect. That's going to look even better coming out of the shiny Fire Flower Mario. That's actually going to look like he's shooting a little fireball. How about Flame Charge? Let's go for that. Yes. Yes, all these moves are going to be so much better with the Fire Flower Mario, but we got to see him with the classic Mario first. Let's go up against this thing. I bet you don't see this in Mushroom Kingdom, okay, Mario. Okay. Look at that. That's great. All right, Mario, shoot your little fireball at this Minchino. And yes, see? Look how natural that looks. 
Now that I think about it, it makes total sense why Hollow the Modder actually put this over Raboot, because if Mario is a real Pokemon, I could easily see it being a fire type with the fire flower power up. Ooh, I have a really cool idea. So imagine if Mario was a Pokemon, and it had an ability kind of like Arceus or uh, Silvalli, where it changes its type depending on the item that it's holding. You give Mario a Fire Flower, it gets the whole Fire Typing and the Fire Skin. You give Mario an Ice Flower, it gets the Ice Typing and an Ice Skin. How cool would that be? It's too bad I don't think we're ever going to see that in a Pokemon game. Aside from these mods, anyway. These are really cool. I want to do a little bit more testing with Raboot Mario, but I wasn't really liking the moveset it had. It didn't really seem Mario-like to me. So I went ahead and I changed Mario's moveset up to something I think Mario would learn if it was actually a Pokemon. So first, I had to give him Pyro Ball because, you know, Mario Strikers, he kicks around soccer balls. We have Stomp because Mario jumps on Goombas, Brick Break for crushing those bricks, and Dive because I think Mario can swim. I hope so. But before we test out any of Mario's crazy new moves, we're gonna have to do something that I'm sure everybody wants to see. We are going to go ahead and try to Dynamax or Gigantamax or whatever to max this shiny Mario. Okay, let's do it. Dynamax Mario will go for Max Flare. All these moves turn into less exciting variants of them, but I think this is gonna be pretty cool. Honestly, it's not even like Mario can't already do this. In the Mario games, there's the Mega Mushroom, which makes him massive, so this is basically gonna be like the same thing. And here we go. Oh my god, it's like Mario got the Mega Mushroom. This is great. This is so good. Alright, Mario is going to crush this tarantula. Let's do it. Or it can live and Jolteon can finish it off. Good job anyway, Mario. Guys, I think I made a terrible mistake. So I have a team here of six Mario. Now, not all of them have the right name, but they're still Mario. So you know we have to go to Nurse Joy and see what it looks like when we heal them. Now, I already saw this, but trust me, it's gonna look really funny. Here you go, Nurse Joy. Take my Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nurse Joy, it's been a weird day for you, hasn't it? All right, my friends, now there's one more thing I want to do with Mario. So I changed up some of the trainers in the Pokemon League so they will have their own Mario. I want to see what it looks like when Mario battles Mario. Okay, so let's invite Hop and hope that we get him. And awesome, actually, wow, that worked out really well for me. I got Hop on the first try. I saved the game outside just in case I didn't get him. But on the first try, we got him. Let's go. So I felt kind of bad beating Hop over and over and over in my adventure, so I gave him this special shiny Mario. And me, on the other hand, I'm going to be using the regular Mario in this battle. Comment below and tell me which Mario you like better. Do you like the Fire Flower Mario, or do you like classic red and blue Mario? I'm not sure if his Mario can Dynamax or not. If it can, I'm kind of scared. I want to go for just the regular moves, though. I think turn one, we're just going to go for Dive. Yeah, there we go. Mario used dive. Mario hit underwater. <laughs> that actually looks really funny. He just says bye-bye and jumps down a little pit in the middle of the battlefield. Aw, and Hop's Mario looks so oblivious to that. Hit him with the dive. Let's go. He's going for the pyro ball. This is an epic battle. <laughs> this is something I never thought I would see in Sword and Shield. Well, I guess he's not going to go for Dynamax, so you know what? I am. Let's go for Max Geyser. I bet that's going to look great coming from Dynamax Mario. Oh my god, look at that giant goofy mustache. It just gets better when it's even bigger. And here it is, Mario. End his life. Ooh, yeah, Hop isn't recovering from that one. So now that Mario has proven himself in the ultimate Pokemon battle, I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's let Mario evolve. What? Mario is evolving! And there you have it, guys. Mario evolves into Cinderace. All right, my friends, and that's gonna wrap up my adventure today with Mario as a Pokemon. I want to give a huge shout out to Hollow for creating the Mario mod and also the cool little dual disc mod that was rocking in the video, and also Sun Spirit for making the Waluigi over the Pokeball Guy mod. This video was a lot of fun to make, and now that we've done this, you know what I have to do. We have to see if I could beat Champion Leon using just Mario.
No, I'm kidding, but if you guys actually want to see that video, let me know in the comments section. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more Pokemon content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.